Earthquakes are among the most deadly natural hazards. There are around 100 earthquakes each year of a size that could cause serious damage. Earthquakes strike without warning and many of the Earth's earthquake zones coincide with areas of high population density. When large earthquakes occur in such areas the results can be catastrophic, with terrible loss of human lives and untold economic cost. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and seismic waves. The seismograph records the seismic waves generated by earthquakes, allowing the seismologist to determine where, and how deep, a particular earthquake is. Also, the seismic waves from earthquakes can be used to image the deep interior of the Earth, providing vital clues to the internal structure of our planet. These pages will explain what an earthquake is, why and where do earthquakes occur. How the vibrations from an earthquake travel as seismic waves through the Earth How we measure earthquakes The biggest are and the deadliest earthquakes in the UK, movements within the Earth's crust cause stress to build up at points of weakness, and rocks to deform. Stored energy builds up in the same way as energy builds up in the spring of a watch when it is wound. When the stress finally exceeds the strength of the rock, the rock fractures along a fault, often at a zone of existing weakness within the rock. The stored energy is suddenly released as an earthquake. Intense vibrations, or seismic waves, spread out from the initial point of rupture, the focus, like ripples on a pond. These waves are what makes the ground shake and can travel large distances in all directions. Near the focus, the waves can be very large, making them extremely destructive. If we look at the pattern of where earthquakes occur around the world, it is clear that most of the earthquake activity is concentrated in a number of distinct earthquake belts. For instance, there are many earthquakes recorded around the edge of the Pacific Ocean, or in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. These earthquake belts provide an important clue in the development of the theory of plate tectonics. The outer shell of the Earth, or lithosphere, is made up of a number of rigid segments called tectonic plates. These plates are continually moving at rates of a few centimeters per year, about as fast as your fingernails grow, driven by forces deep within the Earth. Below the lithospheric plates, lies the Earth's asthenosphere. The asthenosphere behaves like a fluid over very long time scales, allowing it to convect. Convection acts like giant conveyor belts, moving the overlying plates around. At the boundaries between the plates, where they are moving together, apart or past each other, tremendous stresses build up, and are where most earthquakes occur. Most of what we know about the interior of the Earth comes from the study of seismic waves from earthquakes. Seismic waves from large earthquakes pass throughout the Earth. These waves contain vital information about the internal structure of the Earth. As seismic waves pass through the Earth, they are refracted, or bent, like rays of light bend when they pass through a glass prism. Because the speed of the seismic waves depends on density, we can use the travel time of seismic waves to map change in density with depth, and show that the Earth is composed of several layers. This brittle ultramost layer varies in thickness from 25 to 60 kilometers under continents, and from 4 to 6 kilometers under the oceans. Continental crust is quite complex in structure and is made from many different kinds of rocks. Thanks for watching.